Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Nick Natalie, welcome to Pop Turnative. Thank you so much for your time. What's up? Thank you for talking with us. Yeah. No problem. Nick, I can't even imagine what the first kind of steps are in terms of putting this together camera wise, because there's so many kind of shots. And because it's like from a screen and from a laptop, there's all these like um, close ups and everything. What is that? those first conversations like with this one specifically? Yeah. Uh, so our main goal in all of this was to uh, make something that felt really real, but also something that was cinematic, that um, that kind of elevated uh, what you'd normally see as well. And so we were really lucky to work with our DP, Steve Holleran, um, who came up with some ingenious camera rigs. And, and our goal was always to shoot something that approximated as much as possible what, what you know, a webcam or a, a phone would actually look like. And in some cases that meant actually shooting on, a, on an iPhone. And in some cases it meant shooting on like an A7S Mark III uh, that just kind of gave us a little bit more latitude um, and, and while still approximating what a webcam looks like. Yeah, because the close-ups, I feel like, were the star of the show and Storm did an amazing job because you really, the story is really told with her facial expressions, right? Because we get those close-ups. So that was really incredible to see. And actually, fun fact, before we actually shot the film, we pre the entire movie, almost like it's a huge $100 million big VFX movie. And Will, Nick, and Austin and Ariel, our amazing editors, actually acted out all the roles. So we kind of knew going into it, Will and Nick knew especially what kind of shots they needed on the day. Absolutely. And I feel like, Natalie, with this movie, there will be a lot of takeaway-wise. I mean, it's a great ride. The audience is a detective member of the entire film, and those are the type of films I love to go see in the movie theaters. But there's a lot of kind of messages about technology and how we use technology. What were the big takeaways you're hoping the audience gets for this film specifically? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, I think like the first film... Uh, the way we look at technology in this movie is it's neither, it's not good or bad, really. We're not trying to make necessarily a commentary on that. But like how we all use the internet, it can be used for good. Uh, you know, if you're June in this case, you're using it to find your mom. But in the hands of the wrong people, it can be used for more, you know, nefarious <laughs> cases. But I would say as a whole, our perspective on the internet is it's there to be used, you know, as, as the characters want. And people are going to be able to see it January 20th in theaters. That's missing. Nick, Natalie, thank you so much for your time. It was great chatting with you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.